Wrestler of the Year, Lita Takeover! This is the Takeover Files. What's going on? It's your boy Lito Takeover, the hustle of the year. This is the Takeover Files, man. Damn, bro. Yeah. Feel me. First off, Quality World out now. Mm-hmm. It's just your birthday. Turned, just turned 17. Just turned 17. Uh-huh. And you on Takeover Files, Takeover Bars today. Head to. You got some great support in the building. Gosh. You feel me? Pop. Pops, the fellas, you guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How you feel, bro? I feel good. I mean, I mean, everybody had had these times. It got hard. Pushed through right right through it. Oh, facts, yeah, bro. So good. Facts. And, so blessed. And now, 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 let them know you feel me, your name and where you from. My name Quaddy. Uh, Everybody call me Quaddy, but on all platforms, Quaddy World. I'm from North. And, I mean... Yeah, you know I'm saying? You know what I mean? He <laughs> said <laughs> he got the L. <laughs> No, fuck, man. So, um, dang, bro. How, how long you been doing music for, man? I've been doing music since I was a pup. Like, I always been in the studio. My dad always been rapping. Well, since I was born, at least. So, I was always in the studio. Uh, I performed at a concert when I was three. It was yeah. big, too. Yeah, but I just tapped in with it. Like, just really start locking in. And so, so what, what made you, you feel me, like, really decide to take it serious now? Um, I, Well, my cousin had died. Mm. J four, so he was he was big on music, and then my dad was big on music too. So when I, I just heard his songs, and then I used to be with my other big cousins, and we used to just be in the room, just writing, and making music, and then I really start every day. I had a studio in my house, so it was just like mm-hmm. continuously music, music, and that's all I really knew. No, I know that shit was dope. Like having your pop be, as a, as an artist as well. You feel me? Yeah, like yeah, it that's, that's cool. You feel because like all right, I think I'm thinking about myself younger when I first started listening to rap, right? Mm-hmm. Well, not when I first started listening to rap, but when I was uh when YouTube came out, mm. I'm listening to Meek, Reed Dollars, Heavy, yeah, the, the uh the Headshot DVDs. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I remember my pop and my mom, man, turn this off. Da-da-da, you feel yeah. me? Like it felt so good for uh-huh. Meek to make it and it, for my pop to be playing it in the trap. Like, Yo, yeah. we used to tell me turn it off, but for you to have a, the advantage of having your pop already in tune, yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a big advantage. Like, like you said, my mom definitely got her moments where it's just like she don't know what's going on. My mom always supported me, and I love my mom, but she every time she don't know what's going on, so she just be like, he just, it means she think it's a hobby or she think I'm just doing it to do it. But right. I really take this serious, like. For my art in this. No, no, I feel that, bro. So, all right, do you remember, like, so So you would say, are you in love with music? Mm-hmm, for sure. Do you remember that moment that you fell in love with music? Like, not because of your pop, not because of your, your, your cousin, you uh, know, just, just for you? I can't say, like, I remember the, me- like, I don't have a specific memory where it was just, like, I fell in love with it, but it was just, like, it was always connected to me, even before I start writing. Right. It was I used to get in, you could ask my dad. Like I used to get in trouble in school because I used to have the pencils making beats just continuously, and I always found the beat. I used to be in the bathroom, uh, let it shine, <laughs> hitting it all the time. So used, you like me? We got I got a couple Grammy uh, Emmy. I mean, what's that? The Oscars. I got a couple Grammy uh, shower shower Grammy yeah, shower yeah. all the M's. <laughs> Jones definitely be hitting when I me when I was a young boy. So when I got older, it was just like the lyrics started coming to me. Right. And I already I already understood music, so it was just like lyrics and everything just start connecting. Mm. That's why I took off with it. So so who's some people that like influence your music? My pop, mm. um, my favorite artist, Lil Baby. Okay. I, I I like what you talk about, right? And um, yeah, that's it. That's uh, my you're family. Popping a little baby, man. It, it, my pop, little baby. That's that's who influenced me. Now everybody else just show support. I just do what I gotta do. I feel that. So so let's talk about how was it like just being right now, sixteen, just seventeen. My fault. You feel yeah. me? Put some respect on that year. You feel <laughs> me? Ain't about to do that. Yeah. Feel me? But but how was it just being seventeen in Philly right now? Like. No, it's um, I mean? like 
And when I grew up, I grew up, it was like one foot in, one foot out. So then it's like, it's just like a lot going on. And and I was just always connected because it's like where I'm from. So it's people taking one route and I know what route I want to take. I know right. what I want to do. And I know it's like, it's my mom, she lost me today, like hurt her, pop hurting. So it's like, I can't, I can't, I can't go out like that. Right. And then the fact that you acknowledge that and you understand that, you feel me, like, yeah. That 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 show you you being brought up the right way. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You got some some thorough ones, some real and and real love. You feel me? Like you being mm-hmm. brought up off love. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's a lot of it's different. You feel we all got our ups and downs, but it's a lot of people that's growing up off real is just straight survival. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and the fact that you 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 understand your value to the world, to mm-hmm. your family. I mean, that's that's heavy, bro. So that's something about, keep that with you, bro. Keep that I will with you. Appreciate man. that. Oh, for sure, man. Mm-hmm. So what was your mindset going into to Quaddy World? Um, so I had Quaddy World with me since like he used to tag me and everything. My pop used to tag me and everything. So Quaddy World was always was in it. my in my mind it's just like it's my world. Like if I right. want whatever I want to do, I'm gonna do it. So Quaddy World was always with me. I just took it, ran mm-hmm. with it. It's me. No, nah, that's a fact, bro. So, so yeah. now you got the EP out now. Yeah, they could they could click that. You feel me? We are gonna have that joint in the link. You feel me on the YouTube so they can see that. Appreciate you know what that I'm saying? for uh-huh. sure, bro. For sure. So, what can they? What should they expect from this EP from Quaddy World? Um, so, on Quaddy World, I, I talk about I talk about like real stuff. Like I don't like. There's a lot of people out here just talking about drill and all that. I can't. I talk about what's going on. Right. Like where I started and where I'm at now, how we coming up, wh- how we gonna continue to grow, and, and what I went through in this experience getting mm-hmm. here. So that's what this EP about, and it's about quality. No, nah, no, that's what, what's your favorite song? Do you got a favorite song? Uh, like just all all around. Just just uh, quality world. Let's talk. Let's keep it quality world right okay. now. Um, my favorite song, quality world. Uh, I got a song. I got a song with my pop. It's called The mm. Torch. And, and, and that's my favorite that song. That sound hard. Just like hit. <laughs> that's, yeah. I'm listening to you. My fault, bro. No, you could. That's my favorite song because if, if you really listen to what I was saying in there, I really like broke it down. Like seventh grade to ninth grade. Mm. And like, uh, like just the experiences and what I went through and how it started to like how, it, how bad it got in ninth grade where like I just was living in the moment. Right, and right. then it, it, it talk about like with the consequence. Like I said, I face consequences for it, but now it's like I'm big and I'm focused on what I'm focused on and where we came from. It came from a lot. Mm. Mm. Look, bro, we gonna uh, take this time, right? Mm-hmm. I want to know if there's anything you got on your chest, anything you want to get off your chest, uh, anything that you want to just let the world know. Quietly, we're on all platforms. We we going global. That's it. I like this thing. I like young boy. He, he going places, man. He going sure. places. No, nah, for real, Shit. bro. Hey, man. So where can they find you at? And what what, what can we expect after Quality World? Quality World on all platforms. Um, more music coming soon. Features, all that. Just tap in with me. We, we going to definitely get some stuff done. That's a fact, man. Listen, man. I'm going to hustle of the year. Lido Takeover. Mm-hmm. This is the Takeover Files. Make sure y'all check out that Takeover Bars. And then make sure y'all go right down on that link below and click that Quaddy World. Go stream that everywhere. For sure. we see y'all next time.